vacation land. The way life should be. The pine-scented state. It's where the lobsters are. It's the state you can't get to from here. It's Maine. I, I went to Maine. That hiatus for vacation that I mentioned in my last video, it was a Maine vacation. I ate a week's worth of seafood and I got to see family and it was a wonderful, wonderful trip. Trip took us through Boston into Kittery and then on to Freeport and Old Orchard Beach before heading home. I got some great footage of the trip and I've brought it back to share with all of you. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we got from Boston to Maine and we're at the Kittery Trading Post. So this place is pretty big. Not only is each floor big, they got stuff upstairs and they got stuff downstairs. This place is huge. Uh, I'm gonna wander around, see what I can find. This will be fun. Okay, so I was gonna wait and just follow that last bit up with just whatever I find unboxing it at home. Look at this. It's crazy, right? That's a lot of socks. It's not all the socks. <laughs> and we've got some more over here just socks and there's more this way why is there this many socks so I found a lobster probably gonna get this lobster but that's all I've found so far so I've just been wandering around holding a fake lobster and talking to myself if this were not a gift shop this would seem very very unusual so there's these weird kind of crocs golems so that's a thing that exists. You're welcome. Okay, so I told you this place is big. It keeps going. It keeps going. And this place is L-shaped the other direction, so you can't even see it all from this side. So yeah, it's pretty big. Okay, so I've got this stuff that I got from the Kittery Trading Post. Let's get this open. Promised you I'd show you what this was. So, first things first. I did get the lobster. <laughs> you saw that already. It does not have a name yet. If I haven't thought of one by the time I leave this trip, I might ask y'all for help with that. Blue cheese herb mustard. A main shot glass. It's a book. It's a book about whittling. I don't know why it had to be in its own separate paper bag. I don't think it was in any danger of breaking on the way home, but there you go. A new shirt. I think you've seen me wear the other Moxie shirt before in a video. Maybe. Who remembers? Last thing, this is the least souvenir-y thing of all of it. They had peanut brittle. Okay, one interesting thing I noticed here. I knew this kind of was an effect that happened, but I just think it's neat. Getting on the plane, I had a Dr. Pepper. Sealed the bottle. And just kind of kept it on the plane with me. That was at an elevation of roughly 5,280 feet. Now at an elevation of somewhere near zero? I know there's coastline around here. This is that bottle. I didn't crush it. I didn't do any of this. This is just Denver air pressure on the inside, Maine air pressure on the outside. All right, check that out <laughs> so that's fun I'm gonna hold the camera up a little bit higher 
realized looking at footage from earlier that I holding it way down was not a great idea. These are whoopie pies. I got a bunch of them. I really think the banana ones are pretty good, which is not the traditional one. And I think there's whoopie pie purists who want to hurt me for saying that. But I think the banana ones are great. So yeah, this is Wicked Whoopies, and this is something you gotta do if you come to Maine. All right. So we just had, I thought there'd be a sign on this side of the building when I walked over here. And there is not. That's a Ben and Jerry's ice cream place. We are in the parking lot kind of area of L.L. Bean. And they have decided to turn part of the lawn into a hammock lounge. It's basically just an outdoor mall area. And yet, there's hammocks. We're not even around here. Whoa. So I'm gonna grab one of these. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Every mall should have this. Every mall should have this. <laughs> Can we go that way? This way? Can take a picture. Oh, you want oh, JR, go closer to that boot and meet us on the other side. The boot? See that big boot? Oh yeah. Go get that big boot. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting film of a giant boot now. Cornhole and some kind of board demonstration. Fun. <laughs> yeah. so they don't even call this a store. This is the L.L. Bean campus. More cornhole. <laughs> Cornhole's big here, I guess. So, here we are in Maine, and the history that you see in this place is absolutely fascinating. You know, if you look at this building right here, it's, you know, you've got this colonial building, it's absolutely beautiful, and yeah, yep, you can see it right there. There's the specials in the window for this McDonald's. And a lot of people don't realize this. This is the McDonald's where uh, Thomas Jefferson threw a temper tantrum over Szechuan sauce. So a lot of history here, lot, lots of history. Um, it's just, it's great to see this kind of place and just to feel a part of it, you know? <laughs> How long All right. Take? So here we are in the restaurant and of course we're getting a picture of the food. But then again, I'm getting a video of a person getting a picture of some food. So what does that say about me? So today we were in Freeport and we hit a couple of different places while we were down there. Got a little bit of video of Wicked Whoopies. And I know I mentioned the banana ones, like specifically name dropped those while I was in there. But then I saw some I'd never had before. So I've got some pumpkin. I have got gingerbread lemon spicy ginger brew blueberry soda main root then we passed this place called when pigs fly it was this bakery and they had samples of some of the stuff do you see the size of this prep it is the size of my face i didn't get any video from in there but it wouldn't have mattered anyway because the best part of that place was the smell one of the last places we hit on the way out but they have a whole store just of lint truffles. Hazelnut, yeah. So I got three of these that are just called citrus. Spring, I don't know what flavor spring is, but that's the flavor these are apparently. Coconut, milk mint. I had to grab three pistachios. Mango, have you ever seen a mango lint truffle before? Because I hadn't. It was all food today. We had lunch and then like an hour and a half later we had dinner. It's been a food day. So if I look fat in my next couple of videos or by the end of this video you know why anyway that was the haul from freeport got all this fog here and look at that it's the pier it is unironically the pier I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past anyone in Denver to name a place the pier 
it would just be a dumb, ironic name. This pier's actually a pier. Denver would have an ironic pier. This pier is a pier. Ironic, real. So that's fun, kind of something you don't see at home. So here's a street full of seagulls. I'm sure you can hear them. Can you tell they serve fries here? Was it, was it evident yet that there's french fries here? There you go. All right, so now here I have the pier tradition, I am told, original pier fries. Um, they do it with white vinegar here, which is interesting, but I think it's good. And then kind of a special treat, not so much a main thing, but I guess we're near Canada. There's some poutine. So I think two kinds of fries will make a pretty good lunch. It's vacation lunch. Okay, so I saw this place and I had to get video of this because you would never get away with making this claim anywhere else. Uh, it's this restaurant, Tequila Frogs. And if you can see it over here, this is home of the taco. So that is not a claim you would see probably anywhere else in the country but New England. But I guess they get away with that here. <laughs> All right, so according to this sign here, the pier has the world's smallest candy store. Now I'm trying to imagine what exactly that means. All I can picture is some one guy with one bag of gummy bears going a nickel a piece. I'm assuming it's bigger than that, so let's head up and find out. So it's fun up around here because it's like everywhere that's kind of touristy. It's like, what do we need for a tourist area? Candy. Big old candy store. Like every place we've been. Look at this. There's like mushrooms with candy bins in them. Candy on all the walls. Giant lollipop. Giant whatever you call those things. Just very wonka all through here. All right, and now this seemed like a really good time to bring out a lot of what I've picked up at the various candy stores because there was a lot of candy stores. So first thing, new Pez dispenser to be added to the collection. Aquaman. So this will be a fun one. I like Aquaman. Let's see. We got some Turkish taffy. I've had this before. It's that like rice cracker mix. I bought it for the plane. I thought I might need it to settle my stomach. Again, you can get these anywhere. I bought them for the plane ride and ended up not needing them. These last couple of things though are kind of exciting because I found these things called Boston Fruit Slices. I've never heard of these before. I'm gonna try them. Let's see. Let's try the red one. Hmm. It's softer than a normal gummy. It's almost a jelly texture. Like it reminds me a little bit of like a oversweet American version of a Turkish delight. And then these are grapefruit flavored sour drops. Those are really good. That's a strong grapefruit flavor in there. I like those a lot. Okay, so we are back in Kittery on our way out. I guess we decided on the way as we were leaving was the time to hit the main information center. Well, for me, I might appreciate that. Okay, so I was talking about how everywhere around here has a candy store. So down there is Warren's, but just in case you want to stop for candy halfway through the parking lot, they've got an extra candy shop right there. <laughs> uh, they really like their candy shops around here. This is just attached to the restaurant we went to. <laughs> there are seriously candy shops everywhere. <laughs>
right, we're back in DIA. It's under construction a little bit right now, so I think that takes it from best airport in the country to like second, close second, maybe still first with a less comfortable margin. You know, we're up there, we're up there. All right, so this is a little bit of a bad clip of it, but you know you're home in Denver when Satan's horse shows up to say, hello, welcome back. Hi, Lucifer. It's good to be home. <laughs>